Right, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I have had problems with gnats. If you saw my videos before about harvesting um, from my um, African nightcrawler bin, um, this is the results of it. I, I had said that there's gnats all throughout and babies, and well, it's already been, oh, the first two weeks, um, I had put, um, let's see, um, I think it was this, uh, I, I think it was, um, worm chow and, um, neem seed meal on the top. And I believe what you've seen in here is neem seed. This is, well, at the end of two weeks, I'd gone in and mixed it up and, um, this is the resulting, but there are still gnats growing. And this is not an airtight lid, so the gnats come out, which is why I have this um, gnat catcher cups, which work sometimes, sometimes not. But today I decided to try something a little bit different. I'm still going to put the um, worm chow a little bit of worm chow and neem seed meal on top. However, I also made a an extract of the neem seed meal. I just put a bunch of the meal in water. Um, actually, I wrapped it up in a coffee filter so I wouldn't have to filter it out later. Put it in some water um, overnight, and this is the resulting spray water that I'm going to spray on top of this but I'm not going to wait a week I think that was my problem that I waited too long to revisit um, because the fungus gnats grew back <laughs> so um, I've been reading online and I think instead of waiting a week I should do it every five days so that's what I'm going to do today see this is a uh, just the castings and gnats started on 29th of January. Okay, and I believe that's fine. I'm just going to mix these in. You can see, I don't know if you can see those, but there's still some gnats on the side. and in the ground. So that's why I think I'm waiting too long in between. To treat this. So I don't want to put this on my plants. I don't want to put these castings on my plants and have gnats growing all over. Would not be nice. So I want to get it treated now. And I like using the clear container because I can see inside what's going on rather than having to take a cover off and etc. 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 So I'm going to go ahead, I think I'll spray it first. drench it. Kind of wish I had another container. Okay, now my worm chow does, one of the ingredients in here is diatomaceous earth. So I'm also thinking that that might help a little bit as well. And then more of the new seed. And 
and let's see I think that's it should I drench it again no I won't drench it again I'll just go ahead and wait so there's that container I'm going to be doing the same thing with this container which uh, there were babies in the castings um, that I was going to bait out but it also has that so I'm going to do the same thing with this container I guess I could tape it it's a little bit different inside because of the babies There weren't very many babies in here, maybe, I don't know, 10 at the max, but I don't even think there were that many in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not looking for the babies in here. I'm just going to let them be. And spray it. Now we know that neem seed does not hurt worms at all, so I feel 100% confident that nothing will happen to the worms, which is why I'm trying this. So that's it. And we'll also, uh, I had uh, revitalized these cups so there's no gnats in here. Okay, so we'll leave this for five days or less. Come back and check it. And that's it. Thank you for coming on this journey with me.